Thanks for watching. I've uh, fished the BFL series a couple of years as a co-angler. This is my first year as a boater. This is the second event for the year uh, on the Potomac River. First event was at Smith Mountain Lake where I only caught one fish. Uh, luckily it was a decent fish for five pounds and seven ounces, uh, but it only got me about a 130th place finish or something like that, 115th. So for the Potomac, which is my home water, I went out uh, Friday before the event to do a little practicing. Uh, as you can see, the weather wasn't that great. Uh, a little bit of a cold front had come through. It was raining pretty hard, very overcast. Um, didn't get a lot of footage on the day because of the rain. Was trying to protect my camera a little bit. Uh, so started out fishing in a, mar a little marina here up north. I uh, got a couple of decent bites. I moved over to uh, another location that uh, actually I don't have any footage of, but I'm not going to show it at all because I don't want to to burn that location. It's uh, I think a few people know about it. I don't think a lot of people know about it. Uh, but if I showed footage, you would know exactly where it is, and uh, I'm afraid it would start getting a lot heavier pressure than it gets today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. Uh, I'll show you some fish that came off of it, but uh, won't really show you the location. So uh, enjoy the video. Thanks. Before I got into this marina, I checked the area out. It used to be a really grassy area. There's not much grass left up here. Um, you got to go a little further down south to get the grass these days, unfortunately. Uh, but there is a lot of wood and lay down structure, so I uh, spent some time throwing a buzz bait over the top of that. Uh, tried a, uh, a square bill, also tried a spinner bait, uh, threw some uh, Texas rigs in there. Didn't really get any bites, so I decided to come over to this marina and give it a little try. Uh, at this point, I'm flipping around a um, finesse Tokyo rig. Um, decided to try something a little different than the normal drop shot that I throw, but uh, you'll see how that goes. That's Tokyo rig. One of my hand poured little uh, red bug worms in it. Not big enough. Maybe there's more. a little better fish but it came in but so Saturday the uh, weather was a lot uh, different it was uh, much clearer a uh, little 
a uh, little bit of wind out on the main river. You can tell here in this marina that the, uh, the there's essentially no wind. Uh, tide was extremely high. Uh, it was hard to see any current flow from the tide coming or going. Um, we went out to our undisclosed location and spent about four hours there. And my uh, I caught the first fish. It was short. My co-angler put two in the boat uh, that were about two and two and a quarter pounds each. Uh, I proceeded to catch uh, three and put them in the boat. Uh, we ended up catching about five or six other short fish up there uh, in a period of about four hours. And uh, when the the tide was supposedly uh, at its high point, uh, the fish kind of stopped biting there. So we uh, started coming down to some other areas. Here I ran into a little marina that I've had some success in before. Again, the tide was extremely high here. It was about uh, two feet higher than I've ever seen it before. Um, but uh, that was good because this is a relatively shallow marina and I was able to pick up one fish in here. Uh, interestingly, we fished all the way through this, went to the back and we're coming back out when I caught the fish that I caught. So I had cast in this area, my co-angler had cast in this area, uh, but the fish decided to bite it on the third or fourth or fifth or sixth cast in there. So uh, don't give up when you think there's fish around. I think that's worth coming back for. After putting the fourth fish in the box there, we uh, decided to go to one of the main community grass flats. Uh, you'll probably recognize this area as well. Uh, pulled up, you can see there's some boats off in the distance, but we found a kind of an empty spot and pulled into it. Uh, didn't take very long till I caught uh, the first fish, which was a short one. Um, I'm gonna let this play basically straight through so you can see the timing. Uh, second fish came pretty quickly. Uh, it was a keeper. It was my fifth fish. I was able to put that in the box. Uh, and very shortly thereafter, my co-angler caught uh, a fish that was, was keepable, so he put his third one in the box. Uh, and it was kind of humorous, but also a little annoying that at that point you can see that boats basically just kind of swarm in on top of us. And uh, <laughs> it's, it, there were three or four boats that were literally within casting distance. If we weren't careful where we cast, we would have ended up hitting them. And I know that happens in the community spots, but when you go from, you know, essentially no boats within three or four casting distance to five boats within a casting distance, that's a little ridiculous in my opinion, but it is what it is. Deserves a bite sandwich.
that's it. So we lost about three minutes of footage in there after my last catch and during that time my co-angler caught one and put it in the box and you can see this boat here right in front of us. We're, we're sitting stationary. I've got my power pole down uh, but you can see this boat trolling right in front of us here and uh, you know this this guy came very easily within casting distance which again I realize it's a community spot I realize people are trying to catch fish but uh, that's just a little bit too close in my opinion Here again is you know just a minute or two later uh, kind of swung the boat around just a little bit pivoted on the power pole and here you can see a couple other boats that are extremely close to us uh, again I got it it's community hole people are gonna fish where they're gonna fish but uh, give people a little bit of room when you're out there please Since I put on a smaller worm, I guess I'll put a bigger one back on and see if that works. So I'm not sure what happened to the footage here, but that uh, fish did call out. It was only a couple of ounces. Unfortunately, I could never get the bigger bite that I needed. All my fish ended up being about two to two and a half pounds. Um, kept looking for the bigger bite to try to get me something, but uh, just, just wasn't there for me. So uh, at this point, we're gonna go into the footage and you can see what our final catch for the day was. Um, I ended up with 11 pounds and 14 ounces, um, which, in a very tight uh, tournament there, it, the, the winner had 16.7, I think, so I was about a four and a half pounds out, which again is one or two good fish, um, but I was in 65th place. I think up through something close to 100, they were, you know, it was around 11 pounds or so, so a very, very tight, tight race there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what place my co-owner came in. Uh, he had three fish, and I, I'm guesstimating he had about seven pounds. Uh, six to seven pounds, uh, pro probably about six pounds. Uh, so I appreciate him having him along. Uh, he was a, a very good net man for me. Uh, enjoyed enjoyed fishing with him today and hope to see him on the trail again one of these days. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like. Uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you down the road. This will be a little easier.